asked you all what you are looking for for a quick routine and you told me you're interested in stretching full body stretching and also ankle and knee health because you know as we get older it can be more difficult to squat down and come down onto the floor and get up and all of this honestly impacts our pelvic floor profoundly how our foot and ankle and knee and hip health feeds into our pelvic floor. So I'm super excited to give you this short little stretching movement routine. We're gonna do dynamic stretching today. So dynamic stretching is so good for obviously, you know, your muscles and your joints, but also for your nerves. It helps your nerves slide and glide better. And it really hydrates like waters your fascia, it helps improve fascial hydration. So the fascia is the connective tissue that surrounds everything and hooks everything in your body together from foot up through the pelvic floor to your head. So let's go. Uh, all you're gonna need is nothing. <laughs> I will say for this exercise routine, we're gonna be sliding our feet and our legs on the ground and so for me, like you might have trouble sliding your feet on a sticky mat, like a sticky yoga mat. So I have this rug, it's a faux sheepskin rug and socks. And for me, it works great. You're gonna have to play around and see what your surface is if you're maybe on like a hardwood floor with socks and something under your, your bottom for padding, that could be good. Or if you, um, I don't know, play around and see what works for you, but try to make it so that your feet can slide. All right, let's get started. So what you're gonna do is begin by warming up our hips. So we're, we want to really have good mobility in the hip and pelvic area to do forward folds and to do stretching moves and to do these moves we're gonna do today. We need to have good mobility so we're not like this and hunchy and roundy. So. I want you to begin seated like I'm showing here with your ankles flexed and your hands behind you in fists. Now, if you already are like hunchy and roundy like so, then you're gonna need to sit up on, a folded blanket would probably be better than something like this, but something so that you're elevated a little bit. So if you're elevated a little bit, it's gonna make it easier to keep your back straight and to not hunch and round. So be up on something if you need to, but I'm gonna show you on the ground. Okay, so hands are in fists, your ankles are flexed, you're sitting on your butt bones, your sitting bones, you're sitting on them. They're not tucked under you, you're sitting on those butt bones. Now from here, I want you to tuck and untuck your pelvis. So it's like you're gonna round and then arch your back. So try to keep your arms fairly straight and you're really isolating your movements to here, to this part of your body. So inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, inhale, and exhale. So again, your arms can bend a little bit, but this isn't about the arms, it's about what's happening right here, okay? I want you to feel the mobility in your low back and also your hip joints, which are here and here. So keep going, keep playing with that. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. If you can't get the breathing, just breathe in a flowing way and don't hold your breath. You don't have to get too caught up in the breathing pattern. I just want you to breathe easily, but I don't want you to hold your breath. So a couple more times and make them bigger now, bigger. So really, in, like really arch your back a little bit, really sit up on your sitting bones, really get that, and then, Tuck. Okay, lots of mobility there in the hip joints. Now from here, from this position, I want you to stay up on your fists and we're gonna simply straighten and pull in our knees. 
So straighten out the legs and then pull them in. This is where you are gonna be dragging your feet on the floor. So you're gonna want something kind of slippery so they don't get stuck, okay? But it is providing a little bit of resistance. So this is that dynamic stretch and then also strengthening of the core, okay? So you're dynamically, you're moving with this stretch and the strengthening. This actually is pretty important that you wanna inhale and then most important, you wanna exhale. That helps you activate your core as you pull the knees back in because you wanna be strong and lifted through the core as you pull your knees back in. It's a core workout. And then this is a stretch of your hamstrings. Make sure that as you stretch your hamstrings like this, you don't round your back like so. If that happens, you gotta grab that pillow and sit up on the edge of the pillow or the folded blanket so that you're propped up and you can keep your tall posture. Okay, let's just do one more. So exhale and straighten the legs. Now sit up really tall on your sitting bones. You should feel that stretch in the back of your legs. Your muscles around your knees are strong. So the thigh muscles are strong, engaged, turned on right here on the thighs. And I want you to simply point and flex your ankles. Point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. Keep going. Ankle pumps, so good for your circulation and for strengthening the front of the lower legs, the shin area, for stretching the backs of the legs. Whoo, keep going, keep going. And three, two, one. Okay, I want you to just shake out your legs, shake them out. Make sure you're still sitting up tall. And we're going to do a straddle stretch now. So legs are as wide as you can and begin with your knees flexed. So your knees are bent and your ankles are flexed too. Now. What can happen is this can happen. Don't let that happen. <laughs> so you wanna sit up tall on your sitting bones in this position. If that requires sitting on a blanket or a pillow, you can to prop yourself up, makes it easier. But otherwise, sit on your sitting bones, scoop your butt muscles back so you're sitting up tall. And we're simply gonna begin with our ankles flexed like this, I want you to begin going out and then exhale, pulling your legs in. Going out and then exhale, pulling your legs in. So this is weird, I know. This is probably different than what you're used to, but this is strengthening and stretching the muscles around the knees, the ankles, the hips. You are working everything. So again, just a little bit of straightening out and then strong core, pull in. A little bit of straightening out, strong core, pull in. Keep going. Now, if this is too much to have your legs wide, you can bring them a little closer together. They don't have to be so wide. You just wanna make sure your ankles are flexed, you're sitting up tall and you're straightening your knees, and then strong core, bending them in. So you're stretching, and then you're strengthening, stretching and strengthening. Now maybe you can get your legs all the way down and then exhale all the way up. Maybe not, either way is fine. Stretching and strengthening. Keep going. Sitting up tall. Let's do three more, two more, and last one. Now, come on down, make your legs closer if they need to be, if that's too much of a stretch. We're gonna try to straighten the legs out. Again, if you need to sit up on something, you can. Just be sure that you're not hunchy and roundy. You wanna sit up tall. 
sitting on your sit bones. Now strong through the quads. Your thigh muscles are strong and turned on. Turn them on. Feel like you're almost pressing your knees down into the floor and pump your ankles. Pump, 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 pump. Keep going. Keep pumping your ankles. Pumping the ankles. Let's do 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And from here, sit up on your sitting bones again. Shake out your legs for a moment. You're going to inhale nice and tall. Exhale all your air out and then come forward into a little tiny forward fold. You don't have to be like way down here, just up on your hands, just enough to feel that inner thigh stretch. The pelvic floor is loving this. Your inner thighs are stretching. The backs of your legs are stretching. The toes and the knees are pointed up toward the ceiling. So don't let your legs fall in or turn out your knees and your toes are pointed up, okay? So you should feel a stretch in the back of your leg and the inner thigh area. You can fold forward, just make sure your back is flat and you're hinging at your hips. Breathe. This is so good for your hips, your pelvic floor. Our knees and ankles have been getting good work. Really feel like your heart is coming forward and your sitting bones are going back. So it's like two directions. Your heart is going forward and your sitting bones are going back. Do not let your spine round. Do not let your butt tuck under. And then come up. Nice job. Our final move, we're going to make it quick. You're going to lay on your side. So bottom leg, my elbow, bottom leg is bent. And then the top leg is going to come up. And maybe this is enough of a stretch right here for your quads, for the front of your thigh and your hip. Because we've done a lot of forward bending and flexion at the hips. So now it's trying to extend our hips. So maybe this is enough of a stretch right here. Or... You can bring your leg up so it's parallel to the ground and grab your foot. So you don't want the knee to be, if you're, if you're holding the foot, don't let your knee be all twisted down like this. You want the knee to be above the ground and parallel to the floor. So just feel that stretch and maybe feel like you can really pull it back a little bit. Oh, it feels so good. This is really a great stretch for your thighs and if you have knee issues this is really important to do if you're up like this that's okay but try to work toward this so again if you're up like this kind of flexed a little bit just work toward bringing the knee back in line with your body gently pull in your lift your pelvic floor and pull in your low belly like a zipping up to help protect your low back because you don't want your low back to be super archy so gently pull in those low abs and hold it for one more breath. And then we go to the other side. So bottom leg bent, top leg is either just kind of resting on the ground and feeling that stretch in the front of the thigh. Or if you want more, you can lift it up off the ground and grab onto the foot. If you're a little bit forward with that leg at first, that's okay, but we wanna move it so that you're in one straight line. Ultimately, that's the goal. Show you again from this side. Now, lift the low belly, pull in the low abs, lift the pelvic floor to support and protect your back. Plus, you'll get a better stretch. So if you just let things hang, you don't get as good of a stretch as if you zip up your core and then keep stretching that front thigh. 
press into your arm. This is a very active stretch. So this whole little work workout is stretching and strengthening. One more deep breath. And release. Ah, nice job. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll leave it there. So if you do this regularly, it's going to really help improve mobility of your hips, your knees and your ankles stretching and strengthening great for your nerves great for your muscles your joints your fascia and your pelvic floor enjoy see you later